Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of McCall Media TV with myself, Angela McCall, whereby today we're going to be going on a bit of a journey into designing our own HTML signatures that can sit at the bottom of the emails that we use in our Outlook systems, for example. And of course, as it's a HTML signature, if you don't use Outlook, you can use it in your other email clients as well. So there's lots of different ways to tackle this. Um, I'm going to start off today by showing you a free online tool which is going to generate a signature for us which we're then going to copy the code into a text editor tool where we can customize it tweak it to our own personal way of doing things and then we're going to install it in outlook as it were uh, this is one of those tasks whereby if you want to stop with just using the free tool that is absolutely fine but in true mccall media style fashion i like to customize things just to make them the way that i want them to be so it's all happening in the next 10 15 minutes or so. Awesome, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over to my left hand monitor screen where you will be able to see that I've literally st uh, started typing the HubSpot HTML signature. I'm just going to do um, that as a Google search now. Okay, um, ignore the first couple of adverts as it were, but the first listing that comes up is this free email signature. Okay, now this is a template generator and it takes out a huge amount of the effort involved with creating a HTML signature. If you just want to run with this, you can, nothing stopping you, but we will be customizing the actual code that it generates towards the latter half of this video. So do sort of stay tuned and uh, watch all the way through. And if you haven't been here before, the uh, link is on the screen to, to subscribe and stay notified on this channel. So, okay, the first thing that we've got when the, the generator loads is on the left hand side here, you've got this scroll bar with lots of different uh, layouts and it gives you some examples of how this information could be presented and you can just work your way through and you can pick your style. That's obviously, um, if you've ever received an email from me, that's I think where I started off with my own uh, style of templates and I've, I've sort of adapted it from there um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with this one right now just to keep it nice and easy and as you can see you've got this created with HubSpot little link down here that you can include or not so I'm just gonna turn that off okay uh, next step over we are going to click on customization so this is where you can put your details in so let me start with myself because this is Angela McCall and as you can see the the screen has gone blank uh, while it builds my template for me okay um, I don't know what my department is just yet so I'm just gonna leave that word as department for the moment and I've deliberately typed that in capital letters and as you can see how it's populating on the screen and then you can edit your social media links now just for the moment I'm just gonna put my hashtag in there because it's a little bit easier to uh, create the little icons and then I can fill this information in later and I'll show you how to do that when we edit the code but obviously you can copy and paste in your own URLs and then we've got a custom field here with bonus content so I'm just going to put my business tag line as a little prompt to me to fill that information in and you can see that's going on on the screen here next once i've done that we've got another little tab we can change all our colors now purely for speed and ease of this demonstration to you today i'm just going to leave the default colors that come up but you are welcome to play and tinker to your heart's content and then you can change your font at the moment it really doesn't matter because again i'm going to show you how to customize this if one of these selections aren't necessarily doing it for you now you can make the text larger or smaller i'm going to just make it smaller and uh, then we're going to add in some photos and images to really spruce up the the signature so the way to do this um, the easiest way to do this is to literally log into your website and as you can see here i've loaded three images already i'm in my media back-end admin of my McCall Media website. So if you click on the actual image once it's loaded, down here in the right-hand side, you'll get a URL for that, um, that image. And you can literally type it and copy, oh, she says if I copy it properly. Let me just right click on there and copy. And you can then paste that and it will populate on here. So this is being powered and generated by images you've uploaded. Now, if I just quickly go through and do that all the way through, so we can add the company logo in, and so you can see how the profile is sitting with the my personal details as a person, but the logo is sitting with the business information. That's cool. Um, we can add a call, a call to action. Now, um, 
let me just say, let's say visit YouTube channel and you can see it's actually creating a button. And I'm just gonna stick that in there. And I'm gonna, again, we can customize that button any way that we want with the colors and we could make the text black if we wanted to do by changing this code here. And then we can even add in a call to action image if we want. So let me just go back to my site and then I've got a call to action. So I'm just gonna copy that link again, copy and paste. Let me just go in here and paste it there. Now, um, this is a 512, in fact, all three images were made by 512 pixels, uh, by 512 pixels to make them square. Obviously, you don't have to make it square. You could play with the size. This could be a rectangular, so it's not so dominating, because obviously that's quite empowering on your, um, or overpowering on your HTML signature, but you get the idea. I just want to give you some ideas of things that you can do. And I would always, even if you don't know the URLs you can always customize them by putting in a hashtag and then finally once we've done all that there is this button just at the bottom of the screen that says create signature and it basically um, goes away and, and real quickly does that and it gives you kind of a mock-up of how your signature would look so pretending that there's an email here for you which is all good and dandy now you could copy the signature and literally open up your Outlook client and paste it in there and save it as a signature or you could copy the signature code because you want to tweak some of the bits and pieces yourself, which is what I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to do so. Now, the first thing you may find is when you click on this button to copy the signature. Okay, I'm just going to open up Visual Studio because I already have it installed on my computer. But you can use this in any text editor. If you paste it in, the problem you've got is that the uh, HTML generator, the HubSpot, has basically kind of they've not visually aligned the HTML for like humans to read it, it's literally as far as the computer is concerned, which will make editing it a real stress. Okay, so there is a cheat for you to basically have. If you uh, basically come to this website called codebeautify.org, and I will again put the link below, you've got, it actually does lots of different things. So let me just jump out here. I use it a lot when I'm doing uh, mobile app development because I often want to, see how the JSON uh, code, which is when you're transferring information into like mobile, mobile devices and want to store it in those devices is basically working. But we're going to look at the HTML viewer and all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that code in here and then what it has is this brilliant button called Beautify and what will happen is it literally takes all of this code and realigns it into what I call the human readable version and there is nothing that's changed at all it's just been aligned in a friendly way and then you've got like kind of a copy link up here if you want so then instead of having all of this gobbledygook up here let me get rid of that and create a new file I can paste in my code and now what I've got is a very nice easy way of editing my HTML email signature now the first thing I will point out is you don't want to actually start touching necessarily any of the sort of main table headings the easiest thing to bear in mind is that if you're going to do something like this you do kind of need to understand sort of how nested tables in a HTML structure are built whereby there's tables then there's the body of the table the row of the table and then the cells now the cell of each table which kind of represents the columns as it were if you can kind of visualize a table is represented by the H HTML tag TD, so table cell, um, I don't know why it uses a D, but that's te technically what it was, is, and then you've got TR for row, and obviously you've got a cell opening and a cell closing tag, and then you've got the closing and opening tags for rows, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So if we work our way down this now, it still looks quite daunting, um, but there is lots of things in here that you can actually see that will help you tweak things so for example i put in lots of hashes to replace the code later on so i'm just going to do a control find on my keyboard um, or control f to open up the finding tool which is quite common practice or a shortcut for most text editors and if i put the hashtag symbol in there it can show me that there's one of 32 of them and then you can see there that it's literally jumped down to the h at the a href <laughs> i can never say it hyperlink reference as it were for me to then customize and if you look carefully this is 
in a, in a row, in a, in a cell, and then inside that cell is the hyperlink. And the hyperlink is made up of a class, um, some inline CSS, which you can tweak, and then you've got an image generator as well. So it's a Facebook icon. I think that's one of the little icons. I'll jump back and show you that in a minute. Alternative text, color schemes, height, and then there's another class. Most of this you don't need to touch and the display block. So you can just leave it as it is, but it does mean that you can go in and edit here the actual um, URL link that you need to put. And if you wanted to, you could replace that entire icon to make it your own icon. And there is a really good website. Another little free source for you is Icon, Mo oh, icon Monster, there we go, um, where you can customize all of your own icons. So let me just quickly jump out and show you this as well. So say for example, I did want to change the Facebook icon because uh, they are all showing in this generator here they're all these round maybe I've got like a square thing going on and I, I want to change those symbols so I could come out to a tool like this again icon monster is a free tool do check your terms and conditions before you go taking my word on anything do your own sort of due diligence as it were but then it gives you lots of different icons that you can download say for example I like this one here I could download it and I would suggest doing it as a transparent PNG to make your life easier then you can basically style this you could change the size of it um, you can change the colors so you can pick colors and whatever you want to do once you're happy you can click on this download and it will go in your downloads folder and then once it's in your downloads folder just like all the other images you're going to want to be able to upload them into your media file here and then copy the URL link. So it's a bit of a flaff, but once it's done, it does mean then that you can actually uh, style this HTML, HTML code your own way. So if you don't want to use, for example, the Facebook icon they've provided, that's how you could actually go and tweak and edit that to basically populate this code with your own style. And, and this is when you can start to really get your sort of teeth into the task at hand and customize it the way that you want it to, it to be. So as you can see there, that was the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Now I'm a big YouTube, obviously you guys are watching me today, YouTube user. So one of the biggest issues I've got here is that it's only given me four icons. Maybe I don't want to use Instagram. Maybe I want to use a YouTube icon. So again, if we pop back to my left hand side monitor screen where's my code gone ah there we go all right so you can see here like i just said to you linkedin and instagram now i could technically swap out um and edit this entire sort of um html reference code here and literally switch out the image which is in this section here which is the source file there for my own hosted one on my website I could change the colors I could change the alternative text for the reader I would possibly suggest you leave all the classes as is because it's been designed that way and it's working and then obviously you put your actual YouTube reference link in there or if I wanted to create a fifth one and I'm going to show you that right now um, what we could do is we could take the whole of that cell so we look for the opening HTML cell tag, which is the TD, and then the closing one, which is with the slash, okay? And you can see here, it looks like there's, they have an actual one that has a space following it. So if you look very carefully, this is the one that's populated with our icon, but following it, there is an empty cell here as well. So I might, just to keep the structure the same, is I'm gonna copy that whole section, and then I'm gonna paste, now obviously this is going to be the Instagram one again, but if I was to take all of that code right now, copy it, because obviously we're not in HubSpot at the moment, we want to see what it looks like, copy the whole thing and go back to my uh, code beautify, where is it gone, there we go, alright, I could delete what we've got going on there and repaste my new code and then show, run. And then what it's doing is it's not just uh, doing a beautify, it's actually showing me now a mock-up of what the HTML output would be. So this is a nice way of sort of testing the visual aspect as well as you make your tweaks. And there you can see now that I've obviously didn't actually update it, but I have created myself the fifth icon, which um, is showing there. So basically, uh, once you're happy with everything, what you can do now is you can open up your Outlook Okay, so um, as you can see, you, this is how I've tweaked my own uh, email signature that was originally generated by HubSpot. But let's just say 
I want to create a new one. So let's take that out of there. All right, up here, we've got a signature. Okay, and then you go down to your signatures. Okay, and then you can create a new one. Okay, and I'm gonna put this as test. And I'm gonna click on okay. And then it's giving me a completely blank canvas. Let me just move this over a little bit for you. Okay, what we want to do is we actually want to copy the visual display because the Outlook email here isn't actually a text editor. So what we've done is now that we've got our visual display showing, what we can do, don't click on the copy here because this is gonna copy the HTML itself. We are literally gonna just literally drag over and highlight and then hit copy. And then when we come over here, wait for it to happen, there we go, we've post pasted it in there, but what we wanna do is we wanna save this as a signature. So just that was just a sort of test it works. So we click on our signature, where's my little test one that we was working on? And we can paste it in there, okay? Um, I would suggest that obviously if you wanna change your text or anything like there to follow suit, you can do. And when you've done it, you want to make sure it runs on for, there we go, new messages will run on test. So that means when I open a new email, blank email, it's always gonna have this test uh, signature showing which I'm not going to do obviously because I don't want to mess up my own little environment but if I was to click on OK now there we go even if I got rid of all of these details I could always access it and as you can see I've got two or three different signatures uh, aligned and up and running for different parts of my business so this is like a part of my whiteboard animation business that I haven't done much with for a wee while um, I've got a personal one, which I don't particularly like anymore or use. This is my normal McCall Media and so on and so forth. And if you actually look, what I've done here is I've added in some tweaks as well. So I always finish my uh, my emails with kind regards. I've created a little image, which is my uh, signature logo, as it were. And then I've also put in down here um, a copyright statement and my business contact details. I've changed that bottom logo to from being a square to, to whatever this is and as you can see I've got six links going on here. But there's lots of different things you could, you could even put a little YouTube video in your signature as well and make that work as well for you. So there was lots of things you can do but that is basically how you set up your HTML signature and then tweak it for your own personal need using um, a free online tool and then customizing it using all of those tools pretty much were free even visual studio which is a text editor so there's nothing cost wise involved apart from a little bit of time and patience and knowledge of html tables and one last thing if you do get stuck with things like html tables the best best place to go is w3 schools because it has some lovely little tutorials on how to help you understand html b schools again i'll put the website url in the description below when you're on that section there's the home page there you've got this learn html come on down it says tables um, then what you've got here is it, it gives you an explanation of what the different elements of a table are and it gives you the ability to sort of play yourself. Um, you can then do some tweaking, add borders, uh, collapse borders, all sorts of different things, add extra cells in and all sorts of padding, alignment and you can have a bit of a play and that's also going to give you lots of power over your HTML signature. So that's it from me today. I hope you found that useful. If you do have any questions, please put your comments below. I'm more than happy to dive in and answer as best I can. Um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, stay notified to my channel. I now have a routine of uploading videos every Tuesday or once a week on this particular channel. But as you can see, whoop, that side, um, I also have my point and click puzzle games YouTube channel where I'm teaching co uh, basically teenagers and adults who've never coded before how to build your own mobile app games using a very simple programming language called Lua. Um, that's going on as well. So you do dive over it and see that channel. And I might even be launching a third channel real soon. So watch this space. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on another um, episode real soon.